Good morning, fam. It's your boy Black Cat. Your back cat. Your another video. This video title is going to be The Revolution Will Not Be Televised. Will Not Be Televised. Now, we, we've been hearing all this talk about the revolution will be televised, yada, 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 since the 60s. Ain't shit pop off yet. So, when will the revolution happen? To tell the truth, I hope it don't happen for y'all's sake. When I say y'all's sake, I mean my sake too, but I mean for y'all out there who's thinking about some kind of revolution shit there. Some military takeover. Some fighting back, you know, some kind of warfare. It's not gonna happen. You know, it's not gonna happen. Anyway, if it was a pop off, that shit would end within two, three days. It'd be finished and we'd be annihilated. When I say we'd be annihilated, people are probably saying, man, what are you talking about? You no. Know, we strong. We this and that. We strong minded people, yes. But when shit hit the fan, mother's gonna scatter like goddamn roaches. You see from Ferguson to whenever they send the National Guard in, they shut that shit down within hours. So what makes you think some kind of race war against white people is going to be beneficial for black people? When you look at the United States map, I want you to take a look at the map. And you will see that blacks predominantly live in, we'll say, north and southeast of the United States. You know, down south. Up to, like, to Louisiana. As you get to Louisiana, you get to Texas. You got a good population in Dallas, Houston. Other than that, Texas is a big goddamn state. And that's a white state with other races there. All the in-betweens. Predominantly white race. Head down to California. You have a small amount of black people there. Probably living in L.A. County. But the majority are white. Okay. So what makes you think you can start a fucking race war and win the race war? Think about it. Tell me. When most blacks live in urban areas. For example, New York City. There's bridges. For them just to, to take over the urban areas, all they got to do is shut the bridge down. Cut the power cut water what will happen blacks gonna starve they might turn to goddamn cannibalism in that motherfucker why because they're not prepared they don't got no water they ain't got no extra cans of food that lasts them a whole year they don't have weapons if you get caught with a weapon inside new york city i heard the um the penalty is i think three years in prison while most other states you can buy a weapon at fucking Walmart? What makes you think you're going to win some kind of race war? I say it's fucking impossible. It is impossible. Don't think about it. Stop teaching your kids about some kind of race war and the revolution is going to come or the black power shit. You want to empower your kid? Teach them how to respect one another. Respect his people, respect the elders. Teach him how to get an education. Teach him how to make a business. Teach him how to not be a slave to the system and go through 12 years of high school, maybe four years of college, if he's lucky, to go ask for a job from the first, from the man that you want to talk about a race war with. You know? And that shit is, is fucking, uh, think about that shit, folks. Think about it. Do not send these kids out there with that kind of mentality where they're going to do something. Because it's not going to happen. The adults ain't do a goddamn thing. So don't try to push that shit down to the next generation. You know? Don't do that. And false black people, you know, like I said, up and up in the northeast, most of your, your households don't have a weapon in the house. If you do... My mother, my mother, my mother, a rusty 9mm in that motherfucker with maybe goddamn 10 rounds. These white people got goddamn 
compounds. They have bunkers with food supplies, water supply, medical supplies that can last them maybe a fucking year or two. They got different mentality than we do. We're not thinking about that. We're not thinking of the long run. We never think of the long run. And don't think I'm for a race war. I am not for no damn race war. If it comes down to you want to fight a race war, I say it's best to pack your goddamn bags up and go somewhere else. Because you're not going to no goddamn race war here, okay? So all y'all out there want to instigate the race war, y'all better pack your shit up. Y'all ain't doing a goddamn thing anyway, you know, but um, y'all ain't doing a goddamn thing. How many blacks train? How many blacks go to ranges? Very few. Very few. I'm sure I, I put this video out. Someone say, well, I go to the range. Well, how many other motherfuckers do you know go to the range? Tell the goddamn truth. You got these fucking people with militias. They are heavily armed. Military grade weapons. With fucking thousands and thousands around the fucking spear. What makes you think if shit go down? Just imagine the government said, fuck it. Let's go all out. Fuck the blacks. Let's go all out. Go get them. Like a fucking purge. Ooh, man. It's going to be some shit. You see the National Guard coming, how motherfuckers back up, run back to the house. Man, you got fucking 30, 50,000 motherfucking redneck motherfuckers who hate you with assault rifles. <laughs> I tell you, Holmes. This be some fucked up shit. It'd be nothing but goddamn bodies. Every goddamn we be stepping over goddamn bodies. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will not be televised. So y'all can save all that 1960 talk about the revolution and shit. The movies ain't starting no goddamn revolution. The 80s ain't starting none. Nines ain't starting none. Early 2000s ain't starting none. It's not going to be none. So stop posting and instigating some kind of shit that they'll get your ass killed. Will fucking get your ass killed. Or locked in one of them goddamn FEMA camps. Because those FEMA camps do exist. I've been telling you about the FEMA camps for years. California got FEMA camps. You look outside um, at the Ellenwood, Georgia. They got them goddamn caskets out there. Them caskets. The capacity you can put inside them caskets of four bodies. Shit's so fucking easy, man. Y'all gotta fucking wake up. You gotta wake up. There's, you can fight back. I'm not saying fight back if something happened. But the outcome is not going to be on our side. It's not going to be on our side. So I advise you, if you want to survive in this world, you better do it economically. Learn trades. Learn something. You know, something you can pass on to your kid. Without that, you're fucking doomed. Or you'll be a slave, you'll stay a slave to the system. Going out looking for jobs. But instead of making jobs or going for a career, most blacks are looking for jobs. And they'll take any goddamn job they can get, as long as they pay the bills. But you're really living a fucking slave life, really, I say. Because you have no career. Once that job goes down, you'll take any job. You might say, okay, I'm going to be a cashier. Oh, I can work this job, work that job, but you have no kind of a piece of paper that's going to give you the credentials for a career. Teach them kids that they need a career. Or make their own businesses. That's the revolution. Ec got an economic slavery. That's the revolution. That revolution can be televised because we can make it. But falls off with violence and things like that. Psst, don't bleed the hype. Don't bleed the hype. Teach them kids correct. And they'll live. And I'm out.